Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Unable to sign into your WhatsApp account because the verification code can only be resent after a certain time? In this video, I will show you how to fix this verification issue on your account so that you can successfully sign in and regain access to WhatsApp services. Let's go! Usually, WhatsApp verification codes can be received immediately. But if you didn't get it right away, sometimes it leads to repeated verification code requests, which causes WhatsApp timeout notifications. In this case, the only practical solution is to wait until you can send another verification code request. If you're having trouble receiving the codes, follow these steps to resolve the issue. Usually, the most common reason why you can't receive SMS or iMessages on your device is simply a poor network connection. If you're in an area with intermittent coverage, make sure you find a spot with enough reception to receive messages on your device. The quickest way to reset your network connection is to enable airplane mode and then turn it off after a few seconds. Also, make sure your Wi-Fi and cellular data are enabled so your iPhone can connect to the internet when needed. In case you're traveling abroad, you have to enable data roaming to receive SMS when you're outside the country where your SIM card is registered. To do this, open Settings and go to the Cellular menu. Choose Cellular Data Options and toggle on Data Roaming. You may also want to double check that you have not mistakenly added certain service numbers to your blocked list. To check, navigate to the Phone Settings page and scroll down to Blocked Contacts. If the number is actually listed, swipe left and tap Unblock. If you're experiencing network signal or SIM readability issues, one effective solution is to remove and reinsert the SIM card in your iPhone. To do this, you'll need a paperclip or a SIM eject tool to pop open the SIM tray. Once the tray is open, take out the SIM card and inspect it for any visible damage. If there is none, place the SIM card back on the tray and reinsert it into your device. Otherwise, contact your carrier provider to request a SIM card replacement. Once reinserted, check if the network issue has been resolved. Keep in mind that iPhone 14 models purchased in the US don't have a SIM card tray because they use an eSIM. When you find nothing wrong with your network signal and your settings are all configured correctly, you can try to force restart your iPhone instead to fix any glitches that may be causing the problem. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If nothing works so far, your last resort is to report the issue to WhatsApp support so they can help you verify the error and advise you on the right thing to do. For your reference, click the tag in the top right corner to visit WhatsApp support. I will also provide the link below. In the request form, be sure to provide all relevant information such as your registered WhatsApp number, your email address where they will reply to you, the platform you use, and a detailed description of your concern. Then, click the Next Step button and follow the on-screen instructions to submit your request. After that, check your email regularly for their response. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!